What's up guys and welcome to this new Pokemon Sun and Moon analysis video. So I was reading on Twitter and some um, uh, Facebook groups and different websites today and something that I realized is that some people are used to the old way of battling the Pokemon like Sandslash, Ninetales and Executor but now they're kind of lost because they don't know exactly uh, how they'll be played like what's their what's gonna be their stats their moves and stuff like that so I think it's interesting to speculate on that so I prepared some uh, like speculation sheets for three Pokemon I won't go with uh, with uh, Vulpix and Sansla and Sancho uh, because I think it's not really um, it's gonna be pretty much the same moves uh, except if they have, like, let's say, Vulpix won't have the fairy moves, or will have very few of them, and Sentru won't have, like, the steel moves, except a few of them. So, I, I'm starting with Sandslash, just to try to uh, explain exactly what I mean. So, the new typing is Ice and Steel, so it has a quad weakness to fire and fighting, which isn't great, but... It can still have some usage, it can be a good uh, stealth rocker, rapid spinner, because I believe, uh, well I hope so, uh, that <laughs> I hope that uh, they will keep their uh, original move, so I see there's a little mistake, there's actually two commas after hail, I'm sorry about that. Um, so I think moves like Ice Shard, Ice Beam, Icy Wind, Ice Punch, Ice Fang, Ice Ball, Hail, Blizzard, Icicle Crash, Icicle Spear, and Avalanche would be good uh, as ice moves for Sandslash. Um, most of them are obviously uh, physical because Sandslash is known as a physical attacker and you look at it, it's not uh, anything close to a special attacker and I don't think his new design actually will bring it closer to being a special attacker. Still included some moves like Ice Beam and Icy Wind because I think like Pretty much every ice type will, uh, every ice type Pokemon will learn these mo these moves like uh, just like Blizzard. Um, so Garrow Ball, Metal Claw, Iron Head, Bullet Punch would be nice. Iron Tail, Metal Burst, Metal Sound, Autotomize, and Flash Cannon. So the only uh, s special uh, Steel move would be Flash Cannon, and I think like. Over 75% of Steel types have Flash Cannon, so I'm predicting that it will also learn it. It's like a pretty much a gamble, but it's a safe gamble. <laughs> so those are the moves that I think uh, Zen Slash will learn uh, that are either Ice or Steel types. Um, so they might actually add some moves like I, I don't know. Like just give it an example, they could actually give it Quick Attack uh, or whatever, and doesn't change anything what I mean is that for its new typing those moves would be logical stats modification so its actual stats is 75 HP 100 attack 110 defense 45 special attack 55 special attack and 65 speed for a total of 450 if the stats say, stay the same I think a boost a slight boost in attack and a slight boot slight boost seriously what's going on with me Slight boost in defense would make sense, uh, reading its description, and uh, also reading its de description, it loses some speed. So um, I think a, a slight a decrease in speed would actually make sense. So let's say like boost of 5 or 10 in attack and defense, and uh, those points would be removed from, from speed. If it becomes like a Mega Evolution and gets uh, like a boost of 100 in its stats. Okay, so in the description we know that it will lose some speed. But I will also remove a little bit of special, uh, special attack and give a huge boost in physical attack. A pretty good boost in defense and another good boost in uh, special defense. So I think this would uh, pretty much uh, compensate for the quad weaknesses um, it gets with this new typing so what do you think about this uh, configuration for Sandslash I would like to know so write it down in the comment section below so next one Alola form Ninetales so four times a week to steal because it's a uh, fairy and ice Pokemon 
So moves that are confirmed, well I think are confirmed, um, I actually tried to translate in Japanese uh, from the trailer and stuff like that and try to uh, compare the moves because there's they're going to be a little different from uh, Gen 6. Um, the visual is going to be a little different so I cannot be a hundred percent sure they could be uh, like there could be two moves that really really look like each other so my prediction is Ice Shard, uh, Glaciate, Ice Beam and Icy Wind I think those are the moves that we saw because we saw uh, Vulpix learn Ice Beam use Ice Beam so it's pretty sure that Ninetales will learn it and I think like 95% of Ice types learn Ice Beam so it's once again a safe gamble Hail for every move, uh, every uh, ice type. Sheer Gold makes sense because it's an ice type, a special attacker. Uh, Powder Snow Blizzard, Icicle Crash, Freeze Dry, Ice Fang. Uh, I think that's uh, pretty standard. Um, but yeah, I think Icicle Crash make, would make sense uh, because uh, it doesn't have a terrible physical attack. It's just like um, more used as a special attacker. For fairy moves, I see Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam, Moonlight, Play Rough, and, da and a Draining Kiss. I don't believe Play Rough will be on Ninetales, but I, I mean, it's the only physical fairy move, so they, he kind of needs it. So that's my logic behind that. So if you have any moves that you uh, don't think would make sense on Ninetales, let me know in the comment section below. So for stats modification, uh, it has 73 in HP, 76 in attack, 75 in defense, 81 in special attack, and 100 in both. Uh, special defense and speed for a total of 505. If it stays neutral, uh, same uh, base stats, I would say uh, a decent boost in special attack, like let's say around 15 points, and uh, slight de uh, the same uh, number, the same amount of points would be removed from defense. And if it gets a boost of 100 points, I would give a huge boost in special attack, a, a decent boost in attack, and another uh, a decent boost in speed. And maybe reduce a little bit of special uh, defense to uh, allow to increase furthermore those uh, three stats. So that's my own opinion. Uh, as I said, if you don't agree, write it down in the comment section below. Last Pokemon, a Lola Form Executor. So. Uh, it gets a four time uh, weakness to ice but it also loses the one to bug so it's kind of like win uh, it's a win lose situ situation so it's not too bad uh, new moves that it could learn so outrage dragon rush dragon tail dragon pulse twister and power whip because uh, we actually see that it that with this big uh, neck and reading the description it likes to use its neck to attack so I think power whip would make sense also heavy slam because it's extremely heavy it's like over 900 pounds so I know it's not a dragon move but I think it would make sense to give executor heavy slam with that uh, with that big uh, weight increase so stats modification it starts at 95 95 85 125 65 55 for a total of 520 um, so if it stays neutral, I would say a slight increase in attack, a slightly bigger increase, increase in special attack, a decrease in defense because in, according to the description, its long neck is good for attack. It, it actually helps him attack, but it's actually a weakness when it comes to defense. So I think it would make sense. Uh, and a decrease in speed would also uh, be a good idea. Uh, I think it will make sense. So sorry, I just had to put some music back on because uh, the the song was over. So if it gets a boost of 100 points, a s large increase in attack and large increase in special attack, a slight increase in special defense, and a pretty decent decrease in defense uh, would actually be uh, the way to go, according to me. So as I said, it's just an opinion. If you don't agree, write it down in the comment section below. And if you do agree, uh, by all means, I'll, like let me know. I, I want to know what you guys think about those theory videos because uh, it's based on it's on based uh, based on speculations only. So we don't have any guarantee. It, we're only basing ourselves on what would make sense. So 
um, I hope that you guys like this video so please leave a like comment subscribe follow me on Twitter and on Twitch and if you want to see more of these uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon analysis slash speculation videos don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to me on YouTube so that's it and um, if you want me to go for a uh, Vulpix and Sentru just let me know uh, I mean it's it's not too bad I can do it so um, I'll see you guys in the next video peace